thousand gems, twenty-five orbs, eighteen lives, and uh, yeah, so we have seven skill points or six skill points. Pardon me. So we only need to do the uh, two Skilos Badlands, and we can then unlock the epilogue. So these skill points over here. Oh, never mind. We actually have seven. So we only need one more. And then we can unlock the epilogue. I'm not entirely sure what happens when we unlock everything, but we'll find out. So let's go to Skilos Bad. This level can be difficult. Two of the three orbs are extremely annoying to get. The other one is honestly really simple. This also introduces us to a new concept that kind of spans the next two games. You see it a lot more in Spyro 3 than Spyro 2. Like, I swear every second level has this gimmick, but whatever, we have the cutscene. Enjoy. So yeah, those are the cat bats. Also, I forget what the lava dudes are called, but let's talk to I think his name's Rock hey, Dragon, Gronk. I hear you're pretty tough. I bet my cousin Glug, you wouldn't be able to make it through the Badlands without getting singed. Wait, hang on a second. What is this massage? Ah, whatever, it's not important. So anyways, the the one skill point, the Catback Quartet, is up... Uh, I forget where the platform is. I think it's, like, over there. Why is he laughing? Whoa. That was one vicious cat bat. Now, the other skill point is playing this Cacti. They actually call them Cacti, so I guess the game still uses that grammar. Which is cool. And that guy's toast. Yeah, boing, 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 dude. Remember if you're, uh... Hang on. What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, remember if you die, you have to go back and hit all the cactuses. Because, you know, it's just like the windmills. So try not to die while you're collecting them all. Otherwise, you're gonna have to backtrack. Uh, we just keep launching them off the freaking cliff. I didn't even know I killed something that was worth a butterfly. This level has an interesting soundtrack as well as, um... It's a pretty nice layout, like, design level, you know? Like, look at this. The aesthetics are pretty good. Now, here are the first two orbs right at the beginning of the level, and they're difficult. Spyro, our village is being overrun by lava lizards! Can you get rid of them before they eat my little buddies? I'll lower the bridge for you so you can get over there. Wait, I just realized they got rid of the uh, stars for the challenges once you get to the second world. That's weird. This was a four star challenge and the second part's a five star challenge. Try and look for the eggs that are wobbling. That's the best advice I can give you. Whoa. That was really weird. Oh, get back here. There we go. Well done, Grasshopper. Take this shiny uh, thing we found to aid your journey. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. Uh oh, it looks like more lizard eggs are dropping down. Are you ready for another challenge? Yep, I guess. Why are pterodactyls bringing lava lizard eggs exactly? But yeah, Ripto is related to these type of creatures. Oh, it's those ones over there. We failed, but whatever. Or not. Okay, we failed on that one because that one hatched, but man, you have a long time to get those two. Which 
Which one is it next? This one. Fiend. Man, where was he going? Thank you for helping us again, Spyro. You deserve another shiny thing. I was going to use it as a nightlight. Eh, I guess that makes sense. I have some water. Okay, and so the other orb, what we need is we need these lava rocks. Not all the time, but right now we do. What you do is you just fire up here. Hit these guys, and they drop bones, and you have to collect eight bones. And that's it. That's literally what the challenge is. Oh, yeah, this cat bat. Oh, yeah, pop bottle rockets. So the same as, like, the box, or, like, the firework crates from, uh, Spyro, um, 1. Sorry, I focus on some of the enemies more than I need to. Okay, he didn't die to my flame breath, apparently. Do these count as cactuses? No. But there used to be a cactus in here. Like, I remember there being a cactus. We need 16 enemies. Oh, they home in. I didn't realize that attack homed in. Well, that's good to know. Now for this part, what you want to do is you want to fire three of them over there. As soon as you spit it out of your mouth, another one starts to spawn, so... You can just mash them, I guess. And there we go. That gives us our third bone. Now the level will be easy from here on out. Like, the level is only difficult if you have a hard time with the, the uh, lava lizard part, which I think they dumb down. Torch tube fool. Now, the power up here is actually invincibility. See. Oof. Used to be able to honestly, uh. hit that one cat bat with the lava dude's ability. See, now we have the invincibility shield. So, what we can do is we can go back this way and go and. for some reason, hit the frickin' cliff. And now we can go in here and grab this guy. Wait, fire does kill him, yet he stands in lava. That makes perfect sense. There we go. You're impervious to all forms of damage while using the shield. Also, there's a... Oh, I thought that was a gem. Like, the rock. You can never be too sure with this game. See, watch. This guy can't hurt us now. This time, I'm sure. Yeah. And that guy there just tells you to collect all the bones. We don't need to deal with him. Careful on these bones, they sink into the lava, so you gotta be somewhat quick. It's a little lenient on how fast you have to be, but just don't stand on them for a long period of time. I bet we've collected 4,000 gems, but only have 2,100 of them. Because of money bags. Now this guy can be a little annoying. What you want to do is you want to glide. If you have invincibility, it's not that bad, but we ran out, so... Just be careful. Whoa, Spyro, do not fall into the lava, because we're not going to recover from that. Now, see, there's also gems in the lava, so... This invincibility is definitely important for this level. We don't need to talk to this guy, because we know exactly what that does. Destroy the cactus. This thing we'll deal with later, because that'll make us backtrack. And right now, we don't want to backtrack. There's a life down there, but that's not that important. See, with them making it homing, it's so much easier to deal with enemies with these lava rocks. And the last one is over here. Like, the last bone. So we'll just grab this, I guess, before we grab the purple gem. Thank you, Spyro. Now I can put my friend back together. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. A fairy left it with me a little while ago. At least he knows what it is and where it's from. His dance was way better in the original, though, just to let you guys know. He didn't do the frickin' disco or, uh... 
whatever the frick you want to call that. The floss, I think is what it's called. It's like the front one kid that was with Katy Perry, you know? Freaking games and their modern meme dances, like, okay. Freaking, it's so stupid, but whatever. The original is way better and not out of date or anything, because it was like a unique fun dance, specifically for that character. Anyways, let's head over here to the Cat Bat Quartet. Now, these are the Cat Bats. And they originally used to have these lava rocks. You couldn't hit them with your plant. But they made it so they're a little lower. I don't know if that was intentional or they just didn't know the height of them. There we go, we got the, that skill point. Now... Do I actually have to, uh... I'm gonna actually have to use the lava rock on him. Well, there should be a lava rock, yeah. And there's another skill point. Like, super easy skill points in this level. Oh, we unlocked the art gallery. See, we didn't unlock the epilogue, we unlocked the art gallery. So that tip thing was wrong. So what you wanna do is we wanna do this one first. That is back in the bone cave. Man, this level's so bright. I believe it's at the end of the hallway too. Oh never mind. It's you only have to hit this one like three or four or I think it's four times before we can break it, I think. It's a lot shorter than I remember. And the other gems should be back here. Because, you know, we used the rocket to destroy it. Yeah, man, we honestly don't have to backtrack as er, much as I thought. All these blue gems, beautiful. Are we missing some? Oh, right here. Beautiful. Well, now we just go get the talisman and we're done. So this level is honestly really short compared to others. We completed an entire page of skill points, which is amazing. The rest of them are a little annoying to get. Kind of. A few of them are. But overall, they shouldn't be too bad. The bosses are going to be the issue. So we're probably going to keep dying until we can get it. Excellent. You made it through the Badlands. I knew I'd win that bet. My cousin Gronk is a fool to bet against the dragon. Take this talisman for helping me out. Did he just call us a dragon, not a dragon? Man, in the original game, that uh, bone had a feather on it. It was way cooler looking. They, I don't know, they really changed a lot of things in here. Also in the original, they didn't show what happened to the guy. It just shows him get knocked over. Exactly 2,400 gems. This will change when we go to uh, Fracture Hills and Shady Oasis. Those two levels we cannot 100%. Luckily, it's only two levels that we can't 100% instead of like three or four. Anyways, let's go do the partner level to this area, Crystal Glacier. We're gonna try and do the levels like in order of like, uh, whatchamacallit. I guess like theme, so these are like the cavemen levels. And then we got the bird and worm levels. Then we got a random desert level. Then we got the two fawn levels. And then we got a random hippo level. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, that guy's kind of chilly. Are there no gems over here? No. So we gotta thaw these guys out. Spyro. Yeah, we're not gonna talk to them. They're going to a hockey game in Colossus Valley. If you free them, they'll allow you to get to the next part of the level. Man, this is an actual cutscene in this. Now, you can't really follow these guys until you deal with these ice wizard guys. Because they'll just freeze the enemy, or freeze the enemies, freeze the uh, characters back up. Now, I don't think there's a skill point here. I really don't. Uh, no, Scorch, Fracture, Icy, and then just all bosses and... F like, it's after the next two levels, like, after those two levels, it's just all flight levels and, uh, bosses. Kind of weird that they did it that way. And that's the original, too. Like, the original has the epilogue and stuff, so... I didn't realize my flame breath hit that. Oh, nice, we'll free these guys. Only the last one will talk to you. There we go. Watch! We'll help you climb this wall up ahead. Yay, thank you. Also, you don't need the other two guys that come, you can literally just jump up. And nobody's stopped by the stream yet. Pretty quiet day so far, considering we've been streaming 16 minutes and no one's stopped by. Our very first Spyro stream, though, did the best by far, like, out of all our streams. It had six people here at once. Even though it only counted it being one person when I looked at the, uh, chart, so... I don't know. I heard an enemy, but whatever. You can hear him walking around. Yeah, Moneybags is here, too. You're not honestly see Moneybags way too often. And you do need souls, because there is a power up here. Actually, I think there's a power up in every level, isn't there? Kind of like have snowball fights with each other, which is kind of cute. Even though they look mean. They're essentially just the ice versions of those, like, fire guys from Skelos Badlands, or vice versa. Hello there, Spyro. I could arrange for you to cross this bridge for <clears throat> a small fee. Eh, it's not too bad. Thank you, Spyro. Now I can buy that condo in Huracos I've been wanting for so long. Go ahead across the bridge. Why would you want to live in Huracos? I hate that level. It's a pretty scary bridge, but okay. Ooh, I love the shiny floor. Yeah, this level only has two orbs, by the way, and one of my favorite talismans. Hey, buckwheat. Torch and some uh, gems. Like, look at the. It almost looks like fish scales. Maybe it is fish scales. Also, this is technically the end of the level already. This level is ridiculously short. Also, in the original game, those guys melted and not get burned. That's really weird. I didn't realize how much they changed, you know? Thank you for the money. Let's freeze these, or freeze these guys, thaw these guys. Whoa, buddy. There we go, that should be all of them. Thanks, Spyro. Just hold tight for a second, and look out below! Good guys. How can they jump so high, though? Also, originally, that snowball got bigger. Oh, you'd think those guys could have got me out of here without rolling a two-ton snowball under my head. Here, take this crystal. I traded some hockey tickets for it. Nah, they can't even go to the hockey game because he traded the tickets. Yeah, this is one of those levels, though, if you do that, you're kind of forced to grab the uh, talisman, which is whatever. Also, can you run up here? I don't think any originally you could run up here. Also, you could flame those guys and they go, yo! 
I, like, like I said, there's some things in this... Whoa. Some things in this game that they change that make really no sense at all. This orb, we don't even have to talk to him. We can just go do it. It's kind of like the bone one. So that gem is kind of hovering in the air again. Man, I, I knew this level was short, but I didn't realize how short it was. Hey, George. This cat's name is George, by the way. He's a pretty cool cat. He's a leopard. So what you want to do is he'll come... Hey, George, what are you doing? George, I can't even get up there with you, man. George, come back. George, what are you doing? Wait. Do you do this one first, really? He's adorable, but he's bigger than us. And he's just a baby. Could you imagine how big this guy would be if, like, he was full grown? Eat your fishy. Come on, little buddy. Let's get you your third and final fishy. Aw, oh, his meows are so cute. Come on, little buddy. Come on, little buddy. He walks so slow, but he'll eventually catch up. Come on, pal. Come to your master. You found George! I'm so glad he's safe. I'll be sure to pay more attention to him from now on. All I have with me is this loud, shiny thing I caught while I was fishing. You could have it if you like. Another orb, perfect. We'll have 30 by the time we're done this level. The next orb can be a little bit annoying to deal with, but overall not too terrible. Now, there's a point where you want to jump down, and it's back this way. Yeah, right here. So the mission's going to be to kill these guys. Don't even bother attacking them until uh, you either collect all the gems or you start from the actual beginning, because then they'll respawn while you're doing the challenge, and it's just really annoying. I don't want to talk to him yet. I want to collect all the gems first. Ow. Get out of the way. Bug breath. I forget what they call these guys. There are a ton of gems just in this cave. And there we go. All 400 gems like nothing. This level is so linear, it's not even funny. Let's go back. And I'll grab the we challenge. Used to give guided tours of these caves, but now they're infested with multiplying draclids. It's only a matter of time before they take over our whole village. You think you can get rid of them for us? Great, but remember you have to catch them all quickly, because if any are left alive, they will continue to multiply. Hey, this one is a difficulty. <clears throat> Did they just forget to add it to some of the levels? Did they seriously release an unfinished game? Even though these guys apparently had a long time to do it? There's 18 of these things? Jesus. Yeah, see, they're already respawning, and we just circled around. There we go. You have saved us all from a grisly fate. Please accept this orb as a small token of our thanks. See, how come some of them know what the orbs are? Anyways, now we have 30, and that's the level complete. Well, there's a whirlwind here. It's kind of in a weird spot, but okay. Now we can just leave. And we get to check out the cutscene. I honestly forget what the cutscene is. It's something to do with, like, the chief and stuff. 
Adios, guys. kind of funny, you know? I think it's kind of just silly. Anyways, now time to go to the longest level in the game. It also has four orbs. Now, there are other levels that have four orbs, but they're usually short, because one of those four orbs is just get to the end of the level. But sadly, we have to pay money bags more money to get to that level, which is lame. Hey, money legend bags. has it that there is a portal to Zephyr here, and legend also has it that I know how to activate it. Furthermore, as I recall, the legend mentioned something about me activating it for a, a small fee. Ridiculous. Thanks for the gem, Spyro. With all this cash, I can open a lizard burger shop in Skelos Badlands. See, Skilo's Badlands. I wasn't lying about the name. Man. All those gems we got literally are already gone. And sadly, you don't get to keep all your... Actually, you do get to keep all your gems in this. It's just not as fun as Spyro 3. Probably dead now. Oh, hey, big dude. Okay, Spyro. Looks like we got us a bit of a situation here. The breeze builders have got us pinned down, and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. Looks like you're it. Okay. So four orbs, a bomb talisman, and four gems. So yeah, see, we kind of did these two levels out of order, which I get why. George the Snow Leopard level is just one, two dem bones. Grab the loot, long glide, the end of the wall. We should probably go over what like all the orbs are that we get in the game too. They may look innocent unless they have bombs, but they can also slap you. So apparently these bombs home. Now there are certain spots where these birds drop themselves down. And I wasn't expecting it to be right there. Whoa. I think we have to kill him to be able to kill the other guys, because we'll just keep dropping bombs into his mouth. It sounds kind of weird that they drop bombs into your into their mouths to attack you, though. Yeah, this is also one of the levels where Sparks doesn't like to pick up all the gems, so be very careful and use your gem tracking ability here. Because you're going to run into issues. See if now we can attack these guys. Oh, they're giving this guy bombs still. Screw off, little bird. Oh, what the heck? Man, I think they just start to drop the bombs on you, like, as soon as you kill off the other birds. What the? is so weird. Hey Zoe. Dang cannon just ain't <clears throat> working for me. Do you think you can blast that bird soldier? Jump up here and give it a try. Sure, buddy. And then we can blow open this door. Uh blow that open. Blow this open. And then there's a door over here. Fire in the hole. And there's also a gem crate in there. I, actually, I don't think there is. I think it's just baskets of like really high quality gems. Or never mind, low quality gems. I 
Thank you for the gems. Man, these are all low quality gems. Every single one of them. Alright, it's pointing in there, so we got everything here. Watch out for these TNT throwing birds. They can be pretty annoying. Once again, way more annoying in the original though, because they threw a lot faster. The water. That's beautiful. This level is very colorful though. I'll give them that. This level can be annoying to deal with, but overall it's not a bad level. Because not every level can be super easy, you know? This is also another one of those levels with those mystery crate things. There we go. Make sure we blow open this door. Our chim. Now I might as well jump down here and collect everything here before we continue on. Ah yes, the cowlicks. Annoying little dudes. Oh yeah, that part. Totally not looking forward to it, but we have to do it anyway. And like, see the grass is so tall, you gotta be careful with green gems because they're really hard to see. So now what you want to do is you want to bring these calyx with you. To this Bo Peep wannabe over here. And you just torch them into the pen. And you gotta do seven all together. Wait, hey birds. Oh, we can't even hit them. Okay. Hey, Calic. Hey, there's a gem over here. Can you get in? Thank you. We'll go down here and grab this one that's, like, really far away. Oh, don't go in the whirlwind. Dude. Sir. guys are a little bit annoying, especially like the really far away ones. These aren't even the furthest away we can get. Those guys dropping bombs on us are kind of getting vicious. There we go. Now you do need the ability to climb the ladder here, so make sure you get that ability before you come here. Whoa. That, uh, that other bird dropped a bomb on his friend and killed him. Dude, come back here. There we go. Yeah, so you need to kill so many enemies to get that power up. Like I said, every level I think has a power up in it. Uh, and yeah, the Calyx. Also, is this where the mystery created or mystery vases? It is. That's back near that one cannon. Yeah, now this level, this is the part of the level where picking up gems can be stupid. So just be on the lookout. I think it was this gem right here that I originally didn't pick up when I got the game. Back on release day. So man, I beat Spiral 1 and platinumed it in like, three hours. It was, it's not a long game, but it's a fun game. Spiral just climb onto the ladder, fool. Wait, how'd that Calic get all the way up there? Fire! Yummy gems. Man, he does not want to glab, glab. Grab on the ladders in this game. Oh, I love how the gem that stays up there is a measly red gem. That's eh, kind of annoying. Come on, Calyx. Let's go to your mother. I think it's a female. I don't know. You'll, you'll laugh when you hear the voice. Thanks, Spyro. Here's a little something for, you know, the effort. <laughs> They're 
are two more cowlicks out there somewhere, but I haven't seen them in a day. Only a three-star challenge, really? Well, before I do that, I'm going to go do this uh, Mystery of Oz, so... Just to get it out of the way. Let's continue on. I don't know why I thought this wasn't a doorway. Man, in Spyro 3, these vases are a lot more annoying because they have a lot more spawn points. Because, like, we only have to flame it, what, four times so far for each one? It's not much at all. Ooh, this one actually had a lot of gems in it. Calic Corral. We already have 275, so we're only missing 125 gems. Considering that we still need three orbs in the talisman, that's not that many gems. Also, a level that looks like this looks like it would be like in the early worlds, not like Huracos or anything like that. Dark, stormy, dismal levels, you know? So anyways, the next Calic is... Well, next two Calics are over here with this worm guy. What light from yonder window breaks? That window up there, dummy! The professor said he was working on a way to help me get back with Juliet, but I haven't seen him in a long time. She's actually the fourth orb, by the way. Not the third one. There's a challenge before it you have to do. There's one of the Calyx. And there's a bunch of gems down here. Wow, red gems, amazing. I gotta make sure we don't miss anything, this tall green grass. I think my biggest issue with this game is they made the grass really tall. So green gems really hide. Those birds up there just trying to blow each other up, like holy cow guys, calm down. Ah, get it, holy, oh we should say holy cowlicks since, you know, there's no cows in this universe, but cowlicks. And this is where the professor is over here, right? Yep, there he is. See his little brown body. Just chillaxing. Let's go get these cow looks out of the way first, though. This is the, like, annoying part of the level. Not because it's hard, because it's just tedious. Holy, you charge them so far in this game. You originally couldn't hit them that far. So what we want to do is we want to get them to walk towards the cliff. Um, okay. Where did this other Calic go? Oh, he moved. They're kind of cute, though. They're like cow anteaters. I, I think that's what they're supposed to be. Whoa. Okay, they just home in. For fudge sakes, man. Run all the way around again. Dude, can you get off? No! He got stuck on the stupid worm guy. Now we gotta do it all again. Dude, why do you not go the way I hit you? You can be annoying sometimes, Mr. Calic. Don't get stuck on him again. Thank you. Get out of the wall, man. Jesus. These guys get stuck on everything. Driver. Oh, I'm like, don't you dare fall down. 
Get into your corral, so I never have to deal with you again. Oh my god, what are you doing way over here? Man, you guys wander in the weirdest directions. Man, 40 minutes and no views yet, guys. Come on. Is it because it's Monday, so you guys are all at work and school? None of you are at home right now. Lame. Like I said, though, this is a really long level compared to others, especially with stuff like this. Well, I am impressed. You got all seven cowlicks for me. Here's a fair reward. Well, thank you. My next orb. Now we can go back and just do the professor stuff. I'm glad I came back this way. There were some gems there. Man, that, that does not look like that's very sturdy, but okay. Hey, Professor. Hi, my boy. I've got a magic beam, and I mean seed for you in here somewhere. Ah, oh, here it is. Why don't you plant it in the ground and see what grows? Okay. And what we want to do is we want to go grab that other seed we've seen. So we have to go over here. And plant it right here. Okay. Man, you gotta wait a while for it to, like, completely just, I don't know, finish doing whatever it's doing. Now we actually have to go find the right spot to plant these now. Now where is the right spot to plant these? Back up here, right? Yeah. There's also another seed, but we can't get that seed unless we have two seeds. Now we gotta go back and grab our other seed. Kind of tedious. Like I said, this level is long because not only is it fairly big, like map wise, there's a lot of backtracking and like looping around, which. whatever. It's not a bad level, like I said, though. Which makes it not too uh, bad to deal with. I'll grab this seed, which then allows us to plant it in here. In the original game, these circles were a lot more noticeable. Essentially, the Hurricos challenge again, but you plant seeds. Ooh, thank god I made it. Spyro does not fire his stuff as far in this game. Except a lot of the stuff homes in, which is also really funny. Fire. Ooh, that was a direct shot right in the middle. Thank you for these few gems. Like, there aren't a lot of gems here, because we still have to get to the end of the level. And we made it to the professor. Well done, my boy. Here are two more seeds to get you the rest of the way. Oh, and take this with you, if you don't mind. It's been cluttering up my pockets. Wait, if you know I have to collect orbs, why do you have them? You're the one building the stuff. Like, sheesh, man. Now what you want to do is you don't want to actually shoot it uh, in yet because then you're not going to be able to get up there. So we need to grab the second seed. Now we can shoot it in if we really wanted to, but it's easier to hit it from up above. I love the music here though, it's like so just upbeat. Whoa, he didn't hover, instead he just stopped and aimed. And boom. That's it. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Oh, there's Romeo. You can have this. I don't need it anymore. Sassy bird. Tweet, tweet. Now oh, she's just flying back to her man.
Do they still have hearts? Oh, they don't have hearts like the original, but they added hearts to like the starfish and stuff in this game. Weird. Anyways, let's time let's finish the level finally. Let's time to finish the level? That's what I was gonna say, and that was definitely not proper English. Watch out for those birds, they can be annoying. Ooh, a free life, don't mind if I do. 23, not bad. Torched. Yeah, those are a nice chunk of gems. Yeah, it looks like we're missing, uh, 41. Now some of them are right here. There we go. I think we get balanced out at an even amount. Oh. Hmm. Hang on, can I glide up here? Hang on. No, I actually have to go all the way around. I knew we missed another gem. Oh, there it is. Yeah, because there's two gold gems at the end of the level. I remember that. So when I seen an, an odd number there, it was like, oh, we missed something. Good thing we caught on to it now. Well, let's continue on. We'll also stop and look at the art gallery here in a bit, uh, once we figure out how to get to it. And what you want to do is you want to blow up this fortress. Why birds have a bunch of explosives, I don't know. There we go. There's just a random worm in there. Hopefully he didn't die. Oh, and that's, I think, all the enemies. All the gems, and now the talisman. Look out! What an explosion! It sure is a good thing I had my helmet on. Oh, yeah. The colonel wanted me to give this talisman to you if you got through the Breeze Builder defenses. Good job, soldier. I don't think a colander's the helmet, but okay. The ruby bomb. And we completed the level, so let's get out of here. For the birds. Some fried chicken. Delicious. Now we're back to 2600 gems. But sadly, uh, it's not the next two levels, but the level... Hang on. Oh, we only have to pay money bags, I think, once more. In a level, and then once to open up that speedway, but the speedway is only 100 gems. I'll see if we can uh, look up this art gallery. I don't know how to actually look at it. Eh, whatever. We'll continue on to probably my least favorite level of this. Eh, I don't know if it's my least favorite. Just it has an orb challenge that I don't like to deal with. It's not a terrible level, though. Oh my god, all these YouTube notifications today, it's ridiculous. I've had like seven in the last 28 minutes. Now we're dealing with uh, bad worms and good birds. Now yeah, we don't need to talk to him. Hey, Sudsy. Two orbs and a talisman. We need to kill all the enemies to light the flame, which then allows us to advance into the level. If you don't kill them, they put out the fire. 
kind of like the ice guys would like freeze the uh, cavemen. Fodder here is also clams. Hello, spiky mine guy. This level also has another one of those like super jump type uh, power ups, so we gotta kill enemies. As per usual. This fills up that pool of water. How that works, I don't entirely know. Hey, buddy. Come for these gems. That cannon's really dark. Almost didn't see it here. The other orb is to defeat these uh, mine guys. Just gotta, like, position yourself just right. There we go. Wait, is there another one over there? Oh, there is. Thought I was seeing things. Hmm. Is it too high or too low? This actually has the swamp music from uh, Spiral One, by the way. I think we're too low. There we go. That was annoying. Let's grab this. Perfect. Did any land on the other side? Oh yeah, we still have to kill you. I forgot about you. Weirdos. Where is he exactly? Oh, we were just slightly too high. It takes forever for them to hit, though. Like, you'll shoot, like, five without moving, and it still won't hit, and then bam, finally hits. Okay, we'll collect this, and we'll continue on. Some lava. That's threatening. Goodbye, little buddy. Yeah, apparently water hurts Spyro, even though he swims in it. Yeah, and this guy just tells you to blow up those little mine guys. Blow that up. Oh wait, we destroyed the guys here. I didn't realize we destroyed them both, or all. That's, that's what you want to do is you want to find this and then hop on this boat quickly. I don't know how it turned on that boat, but actually, I don't know how it's turning on these boats at all. He just like his face when we were charging him. He's like, oh god, no. Okay, we definitely gotta get low for this. I think there's two. Yeah, you just gotta shoot fast in hopes that you hit them. Man, you don't even have to like change the cannon's level at all. Thanks, Pyro. Here's that orb I promised. Sorry if it still has clam juice on it. He didn't promise me an orb because it never talked to you, though. Once again, this is a really short level, but it can be difficult. Because of the one orb. Fly away, buddy. Go. Go. Whoosh. Hey, hey, let's finish off this level now, or try to at least. No, shooting water at me, evil firefighter of doom. And I think we actually have to beat every enemy in the level to get 14. Or at least close to it. I think there's like 15 enemies in the entire game or something like that. Oh, never mind. I think there's 16... Ooh, gems. Don't want to miss these. Now I'll jump on this. Woohoo! Beautiful. 
Yeah, there's 16 enemies in the entire level. This little guy's a pain in the butt. Because you need to beat him to lift up the ship. But we're not going to do that just yet. I want to go do the other orb challenge. So then we can just backtrack and get the gems. Let's jump up here. Grab these gems. These ones over here, and then we'll talk to this guy for the challenge. How lucky for me that you came along. My machinery is broken, and the gears I need to repair it are scattered all over the tracks. Can you hop on that trolley up there and collect them for me? Yeah, why not? No challenge level again. Weird. Yeah, so you also need to go up here to get the uh, the last of the gems, by the way. I really do not like this challenge, though. Not that it's, like, super difficult. It's just annoying. So for these ones, you just want to jump over. They will break, though. And sometimes your hitbox is a little off and you run into them, but... Oh, well. So what we want to do is, once we hit the middle here, we want to hit that sign so we switch paths. As for TNT, you want to shoot it before you get to it. Yay, we're doing good progress. Man, we've almost completed the challenge. Not bad. So now what we want to do is we want to uh, hit this sign if we can. And just do this little loop. Oh god, TNT is always scarier than the boxes. He really jumped over one. Did you see that? Sparrow literally jumped over that one. I gotta do it again. Really? Do we seriously have to keep going until we get a TNT? That's bogus. Stop with the crates already, man. There we go. That was great work, Spyro. Now I can start fixing my machines. Here, I don't have room in my toolbox for this thing anymore. Man, he sounds so mean. There we go. Orb. That's all the orbs for this level. That's actually, I think, the first time in a long time that I finished that. There we go. We got those gems. Now, did I actually break open the last one? I did. Yeah, so we actually have to go back to the beginning of the level. So this will probably be the first level that we actually just click exit level. Now the boat rises. We'll collect all these gems. We should have an even interval. Okay, perfect. Thanks for getting our ship fired up, Spyro. Now we can proceed with our counterattack on Zephyr. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. Why is Squawk sound Italian? When he's a pelican? Sounds like he's in a like New Yorker, you know, an Italian New Yorker. And these should be all the gems right here. Wait, what? Well, turns out we actually have to go back to the end of the level because we missed a 10, apparently. Maybe? Yeah. Guess we're taking the portal out of here. I was hoping this level would already be over, but it's not. Oh god, hurry, get to the boat. Yes, we made it. Now, where's this gem? What? Right over here? Oh. That's actually pretty well hidden, not gonna lie. 
100% complete. Let's leave. Time to return home. He's like, oh god, I need to get out of here. I think that's gonna do it for the stream for right now. Uh, I'll be back later. Um, as for uh, what we're gonna be doing next, we're gonna be finishing off this entire world. Just not yet exactly. So you know, we'll we'll figure it out. But in the meantime, see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream, and uh, yeah. Next level or next episode, we'll be taking on Scorch. Bye bye, guys.